What's up, Gunpla Modeler? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today I'm going to review the January edition. Am I reading this correctly? Yes, yeah, the January edition 2013 of Dengeki Hobbies. While I'm waiting for you guys to tell me which non Gundam Bandai kit I should make, I thought let me look into the this uh, magazine and see uh, all the cool features that's in here. The reason why I bought this also was the fact that I wanted to get my hands on the um, on the Type 99 Space Fighter attack craft, also known as the Cosmo Falcon, from the Space Cruiser Yamato 2199. I'm sorry, Space Battleship. I keep saying Space Cruiser for some unknown reason. We'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll review the contents of this later on. The magazine, of course, the cover of it, has a beautiful picture of the Yamato. I'm assuming that's the 1000 th version of it. Put this blade away here. And since everything is all from right to left, is it right to left or left to right? No, it doesn't matter. We're going to start from here. I'll stop at key areas that I see uh, interesting. I see some sort of card type game that they're showing off here. Of course, Kini Girls. Those wacky Japanese love their girls and bikinis. Some articles that I'm assuming they're going to be covering, covering on this magazine. Uh, one, for example, is the fact that they're going to be talking about the uh, HD version of Gundam Seed. Don't know when that will come out this year. Maybe it could be halfway, maybe third quarter, second quarter, third quarter this year. Who knows? Uh, see some sort of card game for Super Robot Wars or... Uh, no, that's not Super Robot Wars. Oh, the Metal Gear, um, Metal Gear Rex, I think is an expensive kit. Here's some more information about the articles on this magazine. And there's some, a lot of stuff here that's supposed to be coming out this month. So, <clears throat> first page, uh, the first article covers, of course, the Cosmo Fighter kits. And I don't know how many, how many fighters this thing comes with. But I see um, the blue with the orange version, the gray with red and some sort of torpedo on it, the yellow and, and black. That's the signature um, colors of the fight of the... Um, if, if I remember correctly, in the animated series here in the States where it was called Star Blazers, they, they called the fighters Black Tigers. So they use that. Be, you know, an homage to the other fighter kits. And of course, detailed instructions on how to make it. it looks like it's a pretty big uh, fighter, so you only get one. Um, don't know what scale would it be. I'll figure it out soon. But there's a lot of information here. Here's some decals. If I know Gumpla Nut, I, who is also a uh, Yamato fan, I assume he's getting this issue as well. Some cool dioramas, I guess. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Especially this this um, revolver-like cylinder, which is used to launch the fighters into action. Uh, very nice. And, of course, the 1-1000 version of the Yamato. Beautiful. It's a, I... I as I'm, we're wait, as I'm waiting for everyone to ask me, you know, or tell me which, you, you know, kit I should make, I hope the Yamato comes out on top. I wouldn't mind making the other kits that you guys asked me to do, but this one I definitely am interested in building. I, I, I took a quick glance at the um, internal of the, you know, the kit itself, and I was deeply amazed how much, how much detail 
is able to be put in into a 1-1000 scale kit. Well, let's now move on to, of course, Gundam kit. And here is the real grade uh, Zeta. It's an amazing looking kit. So amazing so that there, I think it was on Gundam Guy, uh, he did a side-by-side -side comparison between the 144 scale real grade Zeta Gundam and the 160th scale perfect grade Zeta. And amazingly, the real grade is far more better detailed than the perfect grade. And of course, to bring out this kit even further, there's a couple of pages there on how to make it uh, more, much more detailed. Um, this one also is displaying the um, the bust, the 148 bust head of the uh, Zeta, which of course I think came out in the issue of uh, Gundam Ace, if I'm not mistaken. That's a nice color, the white with red trim. Whoops, went too far. And here's a red type, uh, red type version. That's actually pretty, pretty wicked. I like that one. Of course, this was um, we all remember the Brylant from Episode Four of Unicorn Gundam. amazing looking kit. I kind of like this. Hmm. Don't know when I'll decide to get it though. I have too many kits to work on that. Uh, advanced of Zeta uh, features here. Now of course the we're all waiting for the Ronin Zulu but the Ronin Zulu portions of it remind me of this kit which is the Hama Hama. I remember this kit. It's a big kit. And I see that they uh, put a lot more detail in this one. Now there, here's another unique kit called the, well, let's see, the Legend of G, Moon Attacker. Let's see if I'm able to open it up further. Holy shit. That's some serious armor on this one. One called the White Devil, Solomon Express, Jupiter Ghost, and Zaku 2. The Zaku 2 has a, is pretty sick. I like that one with that massive bazooka. And I like the Jupiter Express because it's taken the body of the Dom. That's pretty cool. This is definitely the RX-78 2, as well as this one. This kit kind of reminds me of H.G. Geiger um, feel to it. Not too much, though, of course. Oh, wow, that's actually really nice. I like that one. Oh. Wow. That's really nice. Alright. Um, okay. Dark Hound, we all remember that. I'm hoping to, I can't wait to build this one in springtime. I have some uh, interesting ideas. Here's the high grade um, fortress, we all remember that one. Here is the Adele Mark II, or the customized kit that they did using the Adele. I have the normal high grade, um, I'm sorry, the AG kit of the Adele. I don't have the high grade version of the Adele. Here's the clenche, here's the clenche. Really nice kit. Very nice. Especially, I kind of like this with the mixing of the wings of the H2. That's a good idea. Very nice custom kit. Here's some other custom kit designs that uh, I remember with the Artemis parts, which I haven't used yet. Everybody had a lot of fun with the Artemis parts. This is the Vassal Knight Gundam. Okay, now we're getting into future products. We all know that in the next month or so, in two months, usually it's probably going to be in April, the um, Destiny, real-grade Destiny is coming out. And I'm looking forward to this. 
as well as this guy which is a one 100 scale master grade tall geese of course this book also commented on the uh, release of the master grade ver Ka new Gundam which I built uh, last month Higher grade Ronin Zulu, the high grade um, gun uh, Jesta Cannon, the announcement of the Master Grade Jesta, which I really like to get. Here's the Banshee SD Banshee in both normal and Berserker mode. Rizel, both in fl flyer mode and with the um, base jabber. Um, Notable announcements here, of course, the Gundam um, Sinanju Stein, the Brazil Type A and B, or Type C and B, I forgot what the types were, but uh, I'm actually looking forward for that one. Here's the Delta Gundam Kai, and of course the Banshee um, metal, um, metallic painted, plated version. There's the Grancia, there's the full burst of the FX. The custom clenche and this guy that I don't remember the name. A lot of cool parts. A lot of cool kits coming out in the next few months. Um, here's some um, the Gundam Converge kits, the Gundam Heads, Gundam Girls, Metal Build. And of course, a lot of Gashapon kits and collector's kits. Alright, I like this one. The Valgary. Valgary hasn't changed for many years, but everybody likes to, like, utilize, uh, you know, a different color scheme or pattern. Especially when Macross Frontier came out and they give you those detailed uh, decals to put on uh, your Valgrief. And it's mostly, of course, the uh, main characters of the series. They're also extremely expensive. Don't know why they would make it expensive, but yeah. Here are the LBX kits, which Bandai has it on sale. Bandai, excuse me, Hobby Link Japan has it on sale. If you guys are interested in LBX, don't uh, don't write them off. It's a it's a nice little kit. I'm wondering when the video game is coming here. Super Robot Wars. Looks a new game, of course. A game that will never hit the sticks. Tiger and Bunny. I should get into watching that. And of course some detailed um, tricks on how to, uh, you, you know, customize your tiger and bunny characters. Here's the tiger and bunny car, uh, motorcycle and sidecar. The characters themselves. Ah, uh, yes. Cho Ru uh, Jin. From Gao Gaigar. Prime 92 is favorite animated series. And I should know. I watched it with her. I have to agree. The series is pretty good. Um, I thought maybe there would be more episodes. But I guess, you know. The D-style kit looks nice. Especially here's, a, here's some other um, separate kits right there. Um, I don't know what that one is. I don't know. It looks pretty nice though. Paint job is nice. Vif, uh, Vim Fam. I remember that one. That's pretty nice. 100 scale. This one is from the series Moolove, which I want to see. It's going to probably take me some time to catch up on that. You know, catch up on that. We're going to stop right here, and we'll pick up in part two of my review of the January edition of the Ngeki Hobbies.